What is up guys? We just got back from Timothy Hortons back in Canada. You know, this is like the McDonald's of Canada. Canadians love this stuff. But, uh, you know, we got the coffee going. I'm going to put two ice cubes in it because I cannot drink stuff that's really, really hot. I know I'm really weird. People always make fun of me because I always put ice in my hot coffee. But I don't care. I like it having it at like a decent temperature, not like scoldering hot or anything. But, you know, we got the uh, little hash brown here. So this thing, very, very good. Um, then we got the bacon breakfast wrap. This is awesome. It's really, really big. It's about the size of like a McWrap from McDonald's. And then we got the medium double-double coffee right here. You know, we're really tired. It's only like nine something in the morning. Been up for about an hour. I'm still kind of tired, so this will definitely wake me up. Alright guys, I know you didn't click on this video to watch a Canadian guy eat his breakfast, so without further ado, let's go check out some of my sneakers. Alright guys, so we are in my room right now. This is where I tend to keep pretty much all of my sneakers, boots, everything. So without further ado, let's start off with the first shoe, which is definitely one of my favorites, and that's the Adidas Ultra Boost All White. It is super white in this uh, frame right now. Let me just try to uh, change that up. There you go. Now you can see the shoe a little bit better. Um, this shoe is super comfortable, super clean, looks really, really good, and it's a pretty high status shoe. Like, a lot of people will know what an Ultra Boost is right away, and uh, it's a really cool shoe to have, and a lot of people really, really like them. Next up, I got some Roshi Runs. This is definitely one of my favorite colorways that they've ever, eh, ever come in. Um, this one's the red, white, and black. It looks really, really cool, really, really fresh. I really like it. These definitely aren't the most comfortable shoes, um, but they do look really cool. That's the only reason I buy them. So a little bit of wear on the bottom, just browning a little bit. I like to keep my shoes all really, really clean. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably noticed that. But yeah, the first pair of Roshi runs there. Then I like those so much I bought the blue pair, so the blue and white. This one is really, really clean as well. It goes with a lot of things, not really too many different colors, but if you're wearing like white, gray, black, whatever, these things will look really, really cool. Then I got some free run fly knits. This is one of my favorite colorways ever, the multicolor, so you guys can see that. I actually made a review on this and it pretty much exploded, so I'm really thankful for you guys watching that video. That video was, I think, my first or second sneaker uh, review and unboxing video, so this one's pretty special, especially for like a YouTube milestone, but super comfortable, super, super light, and I definitely recommend this one. Then I got some Adidas Alpha Bounces. Now these ones I like to call the Athletic Yeezy just because uh, the bottom does look like a boost, like a Yeezy boost bottom. Uh, the rest of the shoe looks a little more athletic, but it still looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, it's actually really comfortable too. I think it's just a step below the Ultra Boost, which is really cool because the Ultra Boost is like $100 more than this shoe. But uh, yeah, this one is a very cool just shoe that I like to wear when I like go to the gym or play some volleyball or something. This thing gets the job done. Next up is one of my personal favorites, and this is the Nike Hoochie, or Hirachi, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it the Hoochies, uh, just because, I don't know, I'm weird, but the colorway is really cool. It's like a gray, light gray, white, a bit of black. It looks really, really good, especially on feet. The lace is there, light color. Uh, on the back, I love this about the Hoochies. You know, we got the Nike written on this little band on the back. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be in focus that well, but you guys probably know what it looks like. Um, the bottom here, nothing too special, but uh, it's a really comfortable shoe. I really like this. It feels like a sock when it goes near your ankles there. So this one's really comfortable and it looks really, really good. And they're pretty affordable. I think this was only like 100 bucks. Next up is one of the OGs of my collection. This one I've had for quite a long time. I'm actually not even like 100% sure what it's called, to be honest. 
Uh, there are new Nike shoes called Finger Traps, and uh, it does look like this, like with the weave. I'm not sure what this one is. It might be a finger trap. Leave a comment below if you guys know. But this one looks really, really cool. I love like white and red and black. That kind of color combo to me just looks awesome. And this shoe, of course, is that color. Uh, they're a little bit uh, beat up a little bit, so I might have to uh, clean them up a bit. But these are definitely one of my favorite shoes that I own. Now, this one is a pretty recent purchase of mine. That's the Adidas Stan Smith. So this one is probably one of the most popular shoes you can get right now, like everybody has these. They're just super functional, they look great with pretty much everything, and uh, it's pretty hard to find the navy blue back to be honest like I have to I had to actually go to the Adidas store in Toronto just to get these and they were like 85 bucks or something so they were not too expensive at all so really easy to get and really easy to replace then I got another staple in any guy's kind of foot wardrobe and that is the Chuck Taylor Converse. Now this one goes with pretty much everything as well. Personally, I like to wear it more in the summer, but I do kind of wear it with jeans once in a while, but uh, it looks really good. Very clean shoe and really inexpensive. I think with my discount at uh, Sport Check, I actually picked these up for like $35 or something. So that's super, super cheap, really affordable and a uh, really nice shoe. Everybody has these. So you're definitely going to be following a trend and be in style. And I got these random old basketball shoes that I literally wore in like grade nine or something. Uh, that same red, white and black colorway. I love that color. Uh, as I said before with those other Nike shoes, but this one is definitely a basketball shoe as you can tell. This has been in some pretty good memories of mine to be honest, like winning Volleyball City Championship, winning our District Championship. This uh, shoe has just been really, really cool. My first time playing basketball in high school wore these. So they're a pretty special shoe to me. I know that's like those things I said aren't like too crazy or anything. It's not like it won the, the NBA championship or anything, but uh, really cool looking shoes. I'm not even sure what they're called. Next up is the Puma Ignites. Now these ones are they just look awesome. Like, I personally, I wanted to get the ones with the Puma right here written in white, but Sportcheck didn't carry them, and I didn't want to pay like $160 when I could save basically half of that just from buying it from the company I work for. So I settled for the black writing. It's not that much of a difference, and uh, honestly, I still really like the shoe. So it's got that same sock feel as like the Hirachi, and uh, it's, oh, it's a nice, nice shoe, guys. Like. Personally, what made me want these is the weekend. So I think on Snapchat, there was like a story of him wearing these shoes and they look really, really cool. So I've been wanting them for a long time. Finally got them, I think like a couple weeks ago is when I picked these up. Puma on the top there, all black shoe, really, really clean. This is actually, I think the only Puma shoe I have to be honest. So it's a pretty nice shoe, really, really cool looking. And uh, maybe I'll get another Puma shoe in the future, who knows? And I got some maroon Vans now. This one I really, really wanted after I saw Teaching Men's Fashion, uh, another YouTuber, Jose Zuniga, I think is his name, and he he loves these shoes, and every time I saw them on feet in his videos, I was like, holy, I need to get these like right now. They look really, really cool, really nice summer shoe, and uh, yeah, so I picked them up at Foot Locker. I think they were like $80, not bad. Um, yeah, they were $80, so there's the skew in there. Yeah, now you can see it. So 80 bucks, not too bad. These are definitely gonna be worn a lot in the summertime. Next up, I have the black and gold or dark mocha Ultra Boost 4.0s that came out recently. These ones I really, really like. It's a nice change from like all white and all blacks. And uh, I think it's a really cool, unique Ultra Boost color. Like, this goes with pretty much everything as well. And uh, it's super, super comfortable as every Ultra Boost is. But uh, yeah, the second pair of Ultra Boosts I have, I wanna get the triple blacks next. Next up is one of my favorite running shoes that I own and the shoe I actually wear to work. And that is the Nike Pegasus 34s. These ones have been worn a lot. And honestly, they look pretty much brand new just because I only wear them inside. Uh, even on the bottom, like the tread on here looks pretty much brand new as well. Uh, really the only, t the, eh. 
Really the only signal you can see that I've worn them is on these little stickers on the sole there. It's kind of like worn out, especially on the swoosh. But other than that, I keep my shoes in pretty much perfect condition. So this one is a really cool shoe. It's actually super, super comfortable. The sole on this is awesome. Uh, the technology on the mesh here is awesome as well. Next up is one of my gym shoes and the only Under Armour pair of shoes I think I own right now. So these are the Charged Ultimate, I think. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, so I checked the box and that's definitely what they're called. This one is a really, really nice shoe, guys. It's super comfy, uh, really lightweight, surprisingly. Like, it feels a little bulky on the sole here just because it is a gym shoe. But other than that, the upper is really, really light and I think you guys would really like it, especially for working out. Uh, we got this, like, blue kind of sole here, the gum. It's really, really nice. Uh, on the back here, on the heel box, this will secure your heel really good for when you're doing like deadlifts and stuff, so that's a really good feature in a gym shoe, and I love this all black look too, like I love all black stuff. I think I have like four all black shoes or something, and I want to get the all black ultra boost, so I have a thing for all whites and all blacks, you can't go wrong with those colors. Next up, I have some really old dress shoes. I know this doesn't really classify as a sneaker, but I have a few other pairs of shoes I'm going to put in the video just because they're right here and they do go on my feet. So anyways, this is some guest dress shoes. They're a little bit beat up. You can definitely see the crease folds there. I probably need a new pair eventually, but these have lasted me a long time. And honestly, they feel pretty good, so I can't complain about these guys. All right, guys, the next two pairs I should honestly throw in the trash. Like, after picking this up, what the hell am I doing with this? Uh, look at this shoe. It, it looks okay because the light is, like, making it look good, but honestly, this thing is demolished. Like, this is destroyed. Look at the bottom. This is just absolute garbage. This is a really old shoe. The cushion on here is pretty much destroyed. It's super, super ugly. And uh, honestly, that's going in the trash as soon as this video is done. Uh, next up is some Nike Dual Fusions, I think is what they're called. This one, I hate it. I don't know why the heck I bought this, but I honestly wore this throughout almost my entire high school career until like grade 12 hit i was like what the heck are you wearing you need some nicer shoes so that's why i haven't worn these for maybe like three years now but they lasted me a long long time they felt pretty good they looked decent when i first saw them but after getting them i was like what the hell is that shoe this is hideous but uh the colors are okay like i wouldn't wear this with anything nowadays um, maybe if I were to like run like outside and I want to like destroy a shoe some more I would wear these next up. I got some Navy NMDs So I love Adidas and this shoe is really really cool. We got the Navy colorway with the white uh, We got the, the uh, tag here um, Everything about this shoe is really cool. Honestly Navy blue is like one of my favorite colors So in an NMD I could not refuse the shoe the most recent shoe I bought, I'm actually going to make a review for today, is the Nike Metcon 4. This is the sexiest shoe I have ever seen for the gym. This is, like, look at that. It's like smoke or like some kind of granite rock looking kind of design on the bottom here. It looks amazing. The white and black, just a super clean color. Uh, the bottom, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And these were, I think, $180, so they're a little pricey, especially for a gym-specific shoe. So if you guys aren't working out, this isn't going to be the most comfortable shoe, but I definitely recommend you get it if you do work out and if you love the gym. So I know in my videos, I wear a lot of, like, streetwear, but honestly, when I go to school, I try to dress up and look as nice as possible. So that's why I have these guys right here. So... Chelsea boots are honestly my favorite type of boot you can get. So this one right here was about $100 and this one was like $80 at Winners. So that was a steal because these are Steve Madden boots and Steve Madden is like a really good brand. And for their boots, I think they were like one, I want to say 150 or a bit higher in the actual store or website. So I picked these up for like $80. So a great, great deal. And black Chelsea boots look awesome. Then I got the brown ones, as I said before, and these ones I've worn more just because 
I don't know, I like having my feet, like what I'm wearing on my feet stand out and with black it doesn't do that as much. But with a lighter color and like some jeans it really does stand out. Just three more pairs left guys. This one is definitely a winter shoe because Timberlands are. So I got some Tims here from Foot Locker. They honestly look almost perfect condition. I wore them actually just like 20 minutes ago so that's why you can see a bit of like water and like moisture on the heel there. But uh, yeah, these are really, really comfy. Uh, honestly, now that I have them for like three years, I wish I didn't get this kind of like moccasin looking kind. I wish I just got the straight, just, I don't know how to word that, just straight boot. But uh, these have lasted a long time and they look really, really good. Then we have the Frat Boy shoe, AKA the Sperry Top Sider or Slider. I think it's Sider, yeah, Top Sider. Ah, top cider. Oh my god, I cannot speak. These have lasted me a long, long time as well. They're super comfy, unless I'm like on my feet for a long, long time, then they really hurt. But uh, if it's just like a quick throw them on, go somewhere quick, they're pretty comfortable. I definitely need to get a new pair in the summer though. These ones have definitely seen better days. And lastly, we have some sliders, some Nike sliders. These are probably my favorite sandals that I own. Um, the other ones I didn't want to put in the video just because they're pretty old and like these ones look pretty good and I didn't really want to get them because they look super ugly and they're all the way in my basement. But these are like the primary ones that I wear. I want to get some Under Armour ones in the summer, maybe another pair of Nikes, who knows. But this is my last pair of like footwear that I own. But uh, yeah, so that was pretty much it guys. I think um, how many do I own? 40, 12, 16, 24, I would say maybe almost 30 or just above 30 different pairs of shoes and honestly in the last year I think I've bought like 20 out of those like 30 so that just shows you how much I've been really into sneakers lately. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Maybe even like the video, I don't know. I'm really trying to grow the channel and I just appreciate every single one of you guys clicking on this video and kind of hanging out with me for a few minutes. I know this video is pretty long, I just had a lot of stuff to show. But if you guys wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm actually gonna post like a bunch of videos today just because I'm gonna be home all day. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna post some uh, Nike Metcon reviews. And uh, honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna make a lot of videos. I have them all written down on a list. I cannot remember it, that's why I write it down. But anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.